Today I have something very special, a medium scale budgie bass made in beautiful Tuscany with a stunning sound. Let's check it out. Welcome to Base the World. My name is Keiko Fries and playing this exquisite Italian creation is my friend Kai Lemke today. A few months back we already had the pleasure to try the Bachi Amrita Michael League signature bass. A very expensive but incredibly good bass. This one here is no different, it's very well balanced, there's no neck dive. Built with a lot of care for the little detail and as you've just heard it sits beautifully in the mix without the need to add additional EQ or any other post-production trickery. This bass was sent to me by my friend Morten Ehlers from Bass Buddha, an awesome high-end bass boutique from Aarhus in Denmark. This particular bass is already sold, but if you're interested, uh, here's all the good stuff. Uh, check his shop out, I will leave a link in the video description below. <laughs> I've just finished mixing the sound samples and it was very refreshing to work on them. There's nothing to do really, this bass sounds fantastic out of the box. If you bring this to the studio uh, for a session where this tone is appropriate of course, the producers and engineers will love you. It has such a beautiful natural rich low end and smooth highs. These are kind of the unique properties of high end boutique basses if they're done right. So now let's check out the specs. The body is made from alder and finished in this beautiful sea frost green high gloss finish. The neck is bolted on with six screws and made from figured flamed maple. The fingerboard has 22 frets, beautiful diamond shaped inlays, a 32 inch scale and is made from figured roasted maple. The nitro finished neck is super smooth, the fretwork is meticulous, it feels amazing. <laughs> Pickups and the electronics come from Nordstrand. We got an NP5V at the neck and an NJ5S at the bridge. The controls are your standard volume, pickup blend and passive tone configuration followed up by active mids and the stack knob with bases and highs. You can deactivate the preamp by pulling out the volume control and when you pull out the mids you can change their center frequency from 400 to 800 Hz. It's brilliant. Inside the controlled cavity sits a little trim pot where you can adjust the gain plus and minus 10 dB to match the active sound perfectly to the passive. The bridge is Budgie's own design. It's super solid, made from brass and you can pull the strings through the bridge or through the body as they are right now. The tuners are hip shot ultra lights as they should be and to my personal satisfaction there's a string retainer for all the strings. Now let's hear the pickups and let's start with the single coil at the bridge. <laughs> And here's the split coil pickup in the neck position. Of course this shape will not meet everyone's taste. Personally I like it, there's nothing wrong with doing your own thing when designing your own bases. And since someone bought this base from Morton while we were working on this video, I'm apparently not the only guy digging the style. So how do you like it? So have I missed anything? Uh, yeah, the trustworthy access is from the side of the body like on a stingray. I, I liked it too. Yeah, what a brilliant bass and it's light too. It's 3.85 kilos for a 5 string, that's 8.5 freedom kilos for a... Uh, uh, do I have to convert the number of the strings too? I I'm not sure how that works. I think one more of these videos and they will have me. These budgie basses resonate in such a nice way. That's usually a quality of old basses that had decades to, to dry and be played, which makes the wood settle. And these have these qualities from the start. I might one day have to get one of these, uh, not sure which one yet. So please budgie, keep the basses coming. Uh, I need to try them all and then I guess we need to talk. And that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a Michael League Base video, here's a Merch Shop, and here's me saying ciao. Base